Hello friends, welcome to bsvtrainings.com and today I'm going to show you how to perform cost allocation in financial queue. So we are continuing to building our financial queue and in the previous session how to build your account hierarchy, balance sheet and income statement. In the same continuation we are going to build our uh, financial cube and I'm going to show you how to perform allocation. So how allocation work actually before we do it in as space I like to give you a basic example how allocation work. We'll talk about three kind of allocation uh, Proportional linear and percent based allocation. So this is fairly simple According to the allocation rules or definition allocate values from a member or cross dimension member in our example we are going to allocate payroll expenses to all the children the down arrow represents the allocation where you input value to the parent and it cascade down to all the children so my payroll expense in turn cascade down to commission salaries other bonus and annual bonus so it could be value or a cross dimension maybe I like to see payroll expenses with respect to budget budget payroll expenses from a value across member list so I want to allocate this value at parent level to all the children allocation is based on way variety of criteria we're going to talk about different criteria spread allocation linear and based on percentage so before we actually do it in a space let's see how it look like in Excel for the sake of simplicity I've already made a model over here if you see look at our outline structure first this is my outline structure under account dimension we have a hierarchy called income statement where we have uh, expenses which in turn has people cost payroll expenses and type of payroll expenses commission salaries bonus and annual standard behavior of space is allocation where children value goes to the parent I want uh, standard behavior is consolidation sorry the children value goes to parent I want allocation therefore I want value to be loaded at parent level and it should cascade down to all the children <coughs> so if it is linear allocation <coughs> Sorry, if it's a linear allocation, the value you input to the parent and it goes down to the children. Let me graphically show you this way. I have a payroll expenses and these are type of allocations. Okay. So generally what happened? The type of payroll expenses, sorry. So generally what happened? You input value to the children and it roll up to the parent. Okay, with this up arrow represent this. But this time we want allocation where I input value to the parent and it should go down to the children how the value will go down to the children from parent depends upon what criteria you apply okay. for the sake of simply let's say if this is the value of parent payroll expense is 1000 and number of children are 4 so we divide 1000 divide by 4 so 250 would be allocated to all the children it goes to 250 everywhere this is a linear allocation a parent value equally distribute to all the children second allocation may be based on certain drivers so let's say this is my budget value I want the allocation to be taken place based on my previous year actual so I have a member over here called prior actual and the value would be distributed according to previous year actual okay so let's take the value is 5000 in my case so let's say prior year actual this is my previous year actual value and if you look at in terms of percentage let's say actual prior year actual in terms of percentage value percentage so if I represent the same number in terms of percentage it would be uh, the parent value children value divided by parent value in 200 right or I just keep this value and I display this in terms of percentage so this 20% goes to commission from my total pay 
payroll expenses 20% goes to commission similarly d7 i constant i fix it so i apply dollar operator similarly other elements like 60% goes to salaries 10% goes to other and other bonus and annual bonus right let's display this in terms of percentage so i right click and display format percent value now i want to allocate this 5000 to my all children of payroll in the same proportion so how do you do you take 5000 multiply uh, how much percent 20 percent should goes to this and similarly i copy and paste I keep my uh, e7 constant supply so dollar and I see 5000 would be allocated to my children accordingly this is proportional allocation 5000 20 percent goes to this 60 percent goes to this and 10 percent 10 percent respectively so the first example was linear value was equally distributing to all the children second example the allocation based on driver there's one more kind of allocation you as per support based on per, based on percent allocation okay so rather than giving the values here the percentage is given okay so let's say percentage is like um, it's going to be 10 percent commission is 10 percent 60 percent your salary and 15 and 15 percent annual bonus 20 percent and other bonus 10 percent so it is in terms of percentage as well so alternatively i can take this value multiply by this value it is displaying in terms of percentage so uh, while displaying this value either i can display as 0.1 or display as prefix as percentage right so this is my allocation going to be 5010 percent goes to this uh, 10 percent is 60 percent is this and 20 percent annual bonus and 10 percent other bonus so e7 e7 remain constant and d3 changes this is percent value so six 10%, 60%, 10%, 20% respectively. Now let's see how to do this in as space. In as space, there's a function called alloc function. And what is an argument of alloc function? Alloc function, this is a syntax. First is amount to be allocated, allocation range. In this example, I'm allocating payroll expenses. Allocation range is your children of payroll expenses. Base member basis member i'm allocating based on prior year of actual okay and other op arguments are optional you see the one except the method other arguments are optional because they appear in square braces so let's say first uh, proportional allocation which is standard so if you look at in this example i fix this on four triple zero double one which is my uh payroll expenses i apply fix on this number four triple zero double one payroll expenses and i want to allocate this value to budget budget is my target and we use allocate function first argument is total budget value this value to be distributed this is the argument first argument value is i want uh, let me make it a little bigger I want the one which is marked with green color to be allocate budget intersection with my payroll expenses this value to be allocated with the children of payroll expenses right based upon previous year of actual and the method is called share which is called uh, your allocation based on a driver called prior year of actual this is going to be your uh, distribution of values according to prior year of actual or you can call proportional value okay 
so that to make it easy to understand we put some sample numbers first for prior year so this is 100 600 200 and 10 hundred 100 so I write back this and uh, we consolidate this value to the parent level so I run standard consolidation cal called default consolidation so all value goes to parent and in terms of percentage it 10 60 20 and 10 so this is a prior year actual I want to allocate this 1500 to my children so when you allocate when you perform allocation the parent value should be stored only then only you can input value from parent to children I want this 1500 to be allocated to all the children based on uh, my prior year of actual so it is 10 percent 60 percent 20 percent 10 percent I've already written a formula let's validate this no error and execute when you execute this and refresh this you get this output right you can manually validate as well as well so 10 percent goes to this if I display value percentage value percentage this is going to be children divide by parent okay d7 constant this is in terms of percentage so I display format cell and display in terms of percentage this is my allocation 10 60 20 and 10 if I multiply this value to budget value calculation 10% of this e7 remain constant multiply by how much percentage 10% the first value should be 1500 and remaining four value should be 900 300 150 therefore my allocation is perfectly fine this is proportional allocation we can make a linear or uh, standard allocation where the parent value goes to children equally okay so in order to perform standard allocation you can remove the share and put over here uh, I want to allocate to all the percentage so the argument is last argument shared you can write a spread spread okay so I do spreading and because you define skip missing I want to miss uh, this skip the missing value so the next argument I pass as skip missing validate no error and run it <coughs> so now uh, the parent value will equally allocate to all the children okay let's see this refresh you see parent value equally allocate to all the children which is 25 25 25 25 percentage this is spreading equal spreading we also have one more option where we can apply percentage so you can write percent percent allocation save this validate you just change the allocation method and how percentage work so the prior year these numbers are defined as percentage assume this is my percent 10% 60% 20% and 10% it is in terms of percentage and I submit this value a 1500 would be allocated to all the children according to the percent value defined over here this value considered as a percentage okay so last argument change to percentage validate no error and then you run it when you refresh you find 10% of 1500 is 150, 60%, 20%, and 10% respectively. So the only difference lies over here. Rather than I use uh, value, I use percentage. In addition, to this we also have got option called incremental allocation, where you incrementally allocate value. For example, I have a member called revised budget. Revised budget. I need to add one member called revised budget first. Go to your outline. In your scenario, 
uh, add one more member called revise budget so based on budget I'm going to calculate my revise budget I added one more member called revise budget let's refresh this make sure you spell it correctly a revised budget so in order to perform addition the last argument pass as an addition so whatever value you define for budget it would be an extension to this an addition of this value okay so last argument passes add take the same code and uh, change this argument percentage to add so based upon your prior year actual rather than using prior year actual I use budget <coughs> based on your budget your revised budget would be calculate validate no error and then you run it and you refresh and you find this value so 1500 plus 150 1650 1500 plus 900 2400 1800 is 150 this is incremental budgets revised budget value so what if your budget is increment by 150 900 300 150 this is second option we have revised budget for incremental the revised budget could be negative as well so rather than using add you pass an argument as subtract as well it works in that way as well so that's all about the basic allocation part one uh, do watch my next video where i'm going to talk about how to use cross dimension allocation called am allocate function that's it for today should you have any question please visit our site bsp solutions or bsp trainings.com thank you